Okay, in this video we're going to find the domain of these two functions. So uh, the biggest driver of uh, how to find the domain is you want to make sure there are no negatives under square roots or zeros in the denominator. And that's what we'll do as we find these domains. So let's look at this first one. So the first thing that we need to see is that we have got a square root here. So we want to make sure that all of the stuff under the square root is always bigger than or equal to zero. So that's what we'll do. We'll set 5 minus 2x bigger than or equal to zero. Now let's look at this. We want to make sure that x squared minus 1 is not equal to 0. Okay, good. So now we can solve each of these. So here this gives us negative 2x is bigger than or equal to negative 5, just by subtracting 5 on both sides. Now we can divide by negative 2, and that's going to give us x, a 5 halves here, and then since we divide by a negative 2, um, this flips into uh, a less than or equal to instead of a greater than or equal to. So now let's look at this. So I think <clears throat> the best thing to do is to really think about this as solving x squared minus 1 equals 0, but then take those solutions out of the domain. So that's what we're thinking about as we do this. So notice in this case we can factor and we get that product is not equal to zero. So if that product is not equal to zero, that means x cannot be negative one and x cannot be positive one. So we've got that. Okay, so I think a good next step is to graph um, this condition on the number line. So uh, the important points here are negative one, one, and then five halves which is two and a half. And now notice here, um, we have to not include one or negative one, so we're gonna put little bubbles around one and negative one. Okay, great. And then everything has to be less than five halves. So we can put a solid dot there because it's less than or equal to five halves. And then we graph to the left. Okay, so that's the graph of the domain, and now we can turn this in, into interval notation as follows. So this region over here is negative infinity, stopping at negative one, not including negative one, and then we union that with negative one to one, not including either, and then we union that with one up to five halves, and then we end up including five halves. Good, so there's the domain of that function. So now let's look at the domain of this function. Notice we've got two things under square roots, one of them is in, is in the denominator. So let's start with the one in the numerator. So that tells us that x minus eight needs to be bigger than or equal to zero for, in order to make that numerator make sense. And then we have nine minus two x has to be strictly bigger than zero. So it's not allowed to be equal to zero because that would put a zero in the denominator. So now let's solve each of these. This gives us x is bigger than or equal to zero. Sorry, bigger than or equal to, so, so this gives us x is bigger than or equal to eight. Good, and then solving this one, we get minus 2x is bigger than minus 9, which gives us x is less than 9 over 2. Okay, and then recall that for problems like this, you have an and conjunction between these two conditions. So what we need is x to be bigger than 8 and x to be less than 9 over 2. But notice that's impossible. because eight is bigger than negative two, sorry, bigger than nine over two. So that means your domain here is the empty set. So no points are allowed to be plugged into this function. Okay, good, so that's the end of the video.